without the trend line, that's sour chasm because it is they all land on the line. And obviously, if we think about this, this makes sense because if we're looking at uh, the distance, the distance traveled as or the distance remaining as the distance remaining goes up then the distance traveled is going down. You can look at it the other way as well. If you're looking at the distance traveled, as the distance traveled goes up, the distance remaining goes down, right? Distance traveled goes up to 80, distance remaining goes down to 20. Distance traveled goes up to 100, distance remaining goes down to zero. So you have that negative, perfect negative relationship. All right, so now let's, let's, let's see this mathematically with our formula. So I'm going to pull this to the side, get it, get it out of the way, get out of the way. We're done with you. We don't need you here. I don't want to delete you though, because you're still, we might, you're still, you're still good, but uh, we'll put you over on the side here. All right. So then what we want to do is let's make like a large eye over here. I'll pull this to the side and make a large eye and then I'll squish these up into the area so they're in there and so they have their space everything has to have their space everything has just like when you're eating you have to put every everything needs its own area you can't just you can't just squish everything together you know it has to the plate is there to space out the stuff on it okay so now we're going to pick up, I'm going to pick the same data. So we'll take this data, control shift down and copy it, right click and copy. And I'm just going to put that same data over here and right paste it. I think I could just paste it normal because it's just data. No, well, this one has a formula in it. Will that mess us up? No, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Let's let's I'm going to insert a column between the case. So I'm going to I'm working my math here, which is means we're going to take the z score of x, all the x's and the z score of all the y's, multiply them together, sum them up and then divide by the count in minus 1. And then so to do that, I'm going to do another column, selecting column K, right click and insert, and I'm going to call this is the z the Z of distance traveled, traveled. And this is gonna be equal to, the way we calculate our Z brackets, the 94 miles traveled in this case, minus the mean, which is 5392, uh, F4 on the keyboard, making a dollar sign before the G and the two, so it doesn't move down when I pull it down, divided by the standard deviation for the sample, which is over here, and we're gonna say F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the G and the three, so it doesn't move down when I copy it down and enter. Let's decimalize it so we can recognize it. Home tab, number group, and decimalize couple decimals and then we'll just fill handle double click drag it down there it is muy b to the n bn as they say in espanol and so we're going to say this is the z distance remaining and home tab uh clipboard let's do the paintbrush and paintbrush it so that's good, a little wider. And so then we're going to do our Z-score, Z-score, Z-score for the distance remaining. This is going to be equal to brackets, uh, the six. So that's six miles remaining minus the mean, which is this one. F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the H and the two, closing it up, divided by the standard deviation of a sample. And it's going to be F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the H and the three, and enter and decimalize it. Home tab, number group, decimalize, and then double click the fill handle to drop it down. Dropping it down like dropping a beat when I'm making my music video, uh, and I'm trying to trying to uh, put down the bass beat so that I can play like the guitars on it or something. Dropping dropping the bass. Anyway, 
I don't know what I'm talking about. So then I'll multiply these two together. So now we can sum these two columns up and we've got the distance between each data point and the middle and uh, uh, divided by, so we've got the Z, right? We've got the Zs. I can sum them up, but now I need to multiply them together. So this is the Z. Uh, I'm just going to abbreviate the travel times asterisk the Z remaining. I'll just call it rem remaining. And then we'll say home tab, clipboard, format, paint to here. Boom, and multiply it out. This equals the Z distance travel times the Z distance remaining. Enter. Let's add some decimals. Home tab, number, decimalize. And double click on the handle to drag it down. Fill it on, down, handle. And we get the negative numbers given the nature of uh, what we're looking at here. All right, so that so that is good. So now let's make a skinny O column. And then I'm going to say we'll do our correlation calculation. Correlation. We have all the tools necessary to get the job done. So now let's just take those tools, home tab, font group, uh, here, and do the job, black and white. So we're going to say then this is going to be the sum of the Z, the Z travel times the Z remaining, the sum of that column. So we'll say that's going to be equal to the sum and control shift down, enter. Let's de decimalize it, home tab, number group, decimalize. And so, so now we've done the whole summing the top bit, the top part. Now we just need to make the numerator. So the numerator, I'll just put a, a subtitle here n minus one colon to indicate that I'm going to do a little sub calculation in the middle. And by the way, turning these formulas into like, I would call this like a tax worksheet kind of format, just a, a, a worksheet is actually quite useful. So to, because then that lets you see all the steps that are being made in the, in the problem. And it could be useful in practice when you're, if you're trying to put some kind of worksheet together that you might use multiple times and run different things. But in any case, here's an, an N. The N is just the count. So I can count any of these that we want. I'm just going to use our count formula equals count tab. And I'm just counting the rows. So I'll choose the first one, control shift down. It's just counting them. So how many rows were there? 205. You'll recall that 205 when we first started the practice problem and generated 205 uh, data points. So then less one, because that's what it has here in the numerator, minus one. So there's the one. And that's going to give us the N 